Hello, my name is Artyom Bitsarin. I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. This lesson is for week 3 of Introduction to Music Production at Coursera.org and it's about automation in Cubase 5. The automation in the AWs allows us to record changes of different parameters of a track once and then play them back many times. In this lesson we will deal with changes of volume, panning and low pass filter parameters. I have this small audio track to play with. And let's add some volume automation to it. In order to add some automation to a track, you need to activate the right enable button. And a controller of the parameter you want to change must be shown on your screen. We are going to change the volume so let's show the volume controller of the track somewhere. Let it be this one. Then I just click the play button and change the volume while the track is playing. Then I play the track again and we see that the volume is changing automatically during the playing actually, I'm not changing it. The automation mechanism of Cubase is reading changes just recorded and changing the volume accordingly. In this way, we can record changes of many different parameters, for example, panning. Okay. You see, the panning is changing now too. Or you can change an equalizer. Let it be a low pass filter. This and let's play with this. You even can change parameters of VST plugins this way, but we are not going to do that now. If you don't want your changes of the parameters of a track to be recorded, then you can deactivate the right enable button. Also, you are able to listen to a track without the recorded automation by deactivating the read enable button. You see, nothing is changing now because of the activation of read enable button. Also, you can manually correct your automation. Just click show used automation item from the context menu of a track and change the lines here. By the way, you can create your automation without using any knobs, but just drawing lines, like this. Also, if you want to delete some automation info, just delete an automation subtrack here, like here. I don't need the volume automation, for example. So I click remove selected track. Like this. So I hope this helps. Uh, good luck with your automation and bye-bye.